Locked in. Okay, you told that guy to come when? Um, I at told six. Him like six ish. So and, he, and he's a uh, five, four, four three, three, two, one. He's a late t- cap. Of, and he's late. He's usually? typically late. Yeah. He, uh, I mean, to be fair, like we're, he's supposed to get me at five thirty. He always says, oh, "I'm coming to get you at 5.30. So that means he he's, leaves his house at five thirty. Yeah. And then he hits traffic. He gets here at six. Six every single time. Okay. Well. Hopefully, um, you know, did we lock the doors? Yeah. So the kid can't get in. The, the kid couldn't get in even if they were unlocked. So these doors are tight now. There, there's a lot of fluctuation and, uh, you know, expansion on these doors. They're a little bit too tight for the little guy. Hey, <laughs> he's the hot guy now. I know. He's the hot little guy. You know, hot things come in small packages. Yes. <laughs> said, I don't know. My look, father's calling me. Said, looks like call I'm, said, looks like I'm uh, it in the rift. <laughs> Just perfect. Okay, yeah, that that works then. Yeah. Okay, um, we have a lot to talk about. I do think, it in terms of video games and League of Legends because the kids are back. Yeah, they are back. They never really left. They're cranking. Oh yeah, you're in a nine game win streak on a Moo Moo, but we're not yeah. talking about that right now. No, we're gonna. What else we, we got to talk about? Uh, you and I had completely separate weekends. Okay. I was in a different state. Yep. Um, two states away. Yes, sir. You were here. You started off last week. In the beginning of the, the week, on Monday, yep. and you were like, I'm just not going to drink this weekend. And you're like, you're going to laugh, but like, I'm not. Did you stick to that? No. <laughs> of course not. Come uh, Friday, which is typically the start to a weekend. Yeah. Drank. You know what it is, right? Saturday, drank. You know what it is, right? Stand up, drank. You get Monday. Yeah. And you just are hungover from the three days. Mm-hmm. And you're like, I'm literally never doing this again. See, I'm not even that hungover. See, I didn't drink that much. This what week. made you determine that you were going to do? I didn't black out. I know, but what Which made nice. what made you think on this Monday that you were gonna? Because I what was it. I, it was the boat. I mean, I I got I got hurt physically. Yeah. Emotionally. Sure. And internally. Yeah. 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 How's the knee? It's bad. Yeah. It hurts. Mm-hmm. I uh, I don't know why I this like is the perfect. But if I'm sitting, sitting like my, on like a chair, it just hurts. Mm-hmm. Like it's just straight pain. Sure, which is usually a good sign. That's we, a good sign. Let's start with that story because we haven't told it on yeah. this. Yeah, we haven't. I mean, it's been told. It, it, it's it's around. Yeah, but you know what? Yeah. This is just for us. I know. Maybe one day we'll save it. Yeah, for, maybe, maybe one. Maybe day. one day we'll go back and listen, Plus. and you'll hear um, why your knee's injured, why your heart's broken, broken. yeah, why you're internally bleeding, yeah. Let's start off how we start off every story. Yeah. It came to the weekend. We got fucking hammered. And we got hammered. Yeah. What did, we, what, did we, what did we do on the, oh, the Friday even? We, uh, I actually have a funny story about the Friday. What did we do Friday? We, uh, we indulged. Who? You and I. Yeah. Yeah, we indulged. What did we do? We just hung out at uh, your parents' house. Sure. Smoked some stogies. Yeah. Smoked a little marijuana. Just a little bit. Just a bit. And, I was like, I went into it going, I'm going to take two hits of this. Sure. I, I, last time, got way too paranoid. We watched Anchorman. Sure. It realized it was such a fucking hilarious movie, which it is. And I was like, I got way too high that time. Yeah. I was like, two hits is good for me. So, yeah, we let's. Uh, there. And I just get omega blitzed. On that. that Just the two hits. Yeah. Like, to, sure. the, to the point where, like, it was. I was fucking. So I fell asleep. I, uh, I haven't gotten so high where I just like pass out in a while. I sat down. We tried throwing on a movie. I forget which movie it was. We watched. We watched Disturbia. Disturbia. So and I, I want, just passed out. Sleep. I want to skip over that night because I feel like it's. We have a. I feel like I have a lot as well. Okay. And it's just keep that in the back of your mind though, right? Okay. Last weekend. Yeah. Stogies, and marijuana. Yep. The week prior. Yep. And I think the week prior. Yeah. Okay. Keep that in keep that in your head. Yep. Okay. Now, fast forward to the next day. Yep. It's our friend's twentieth yeah, twenty seventh, twenty eighth birthday. I don't know. It doesn't matter. She's old as fuck. We She's always um get a like a barge type boat. It is mm-hmm. a pontoon essentially. Yep. Where with an overhang. With an overhang, it sh- it fits about thirty people on it. Yep. Um, you is what is it? Is it the Milwaukee River that we're yep. on? They 
just you essentially you go in the heart of the city um yes. you bring in all it's all you like bring in your own whatever, stuff whatever you want to drink and because typically none of us live downtown we grab styrofoam coolers mm-hmm. and we go in with the mindset we cannot we have to finish everything because we can't take any of it home yeah why because there's, there's no way because we typically just go straight to the bars then right and up until recently we haven't had anybody like in our friend group who that lived li- that like really lived that close yeah now we had somebody living so about now five we managed to but it that didn't change the mindset we no. had jugs of tea yeah filled with vodka phil phil mickey's yeah phil mickelson's yeah philly mix i really like that they do have a name they have a name it's john daly i know what john they're, ca- they're called john daly yeah but we but our buddy t boss goes I like Phil Mickelson better. I like Philly Mick better. <laughs> yeah. And that's it. And those it's funny to call him that. So I'd like to rewind just a little bit okay. prior to this. Sure. So the boat uh trip has a theme. It's a Jersey Shore. Right. Yeah, you hate and the theme. I hate the theme. I liked the theme. The theme I'm a huge Jersey Shore Jersey Shore fan. Yes. But here's the issue with the theme. You take a picture of the group, right? With Take just a picture of the guys, yeah. and you take just a picture of the girls. The guys, you just go, I don't know what's going on here. You take a picture of the girls, then you go, oh, maybe, it, yeah, it's probably Jersey Cheetah Shore. Girls? Yeah, it's probably Cheetah Girls. <laughs> it's probably or, Cheetah Girls. Cheetah Girls, or is that Jersey Shore? Yeah. <laughs> nah, none of, them, none of them are fucking putting on enough spray tan to make yeah, them look right. like blackface. Like, there's not enough there. Mm-hmm. Um, so it literally was just for the girls. Yeah. And... Also, it's also a girl birthday. Yeah, I know, <laughs> I know, I know. But I love dre- you know, you and I are the, the main people. I, th- I know you really, at least you really, I think. you really slacked this because yeah. uh, I dressing just, up. I fucking hated it. I know you. Did. I hated it. Sure. I, I, I was literally so I had a chain from my Nacho Libre costume, which was two chains put together. Yeah, but it was too big. Sure, like it it hung down too low because it was two chains. Yep. The singular one of them looked like a choker on me. Yeah. So couldn't so you do, had to double it up. Couldn't do either of them. But I was like, I got to make it a little bit shorter. Mm-hmm. So beforehand, I'm fucking doing surgery on these fucking chains to try to get them together. They're just cheap little tiny chains. And I am just getting so frustrated. I go, I don't know why the fuck I'm going through these fucking lengths to get this fucking costume. I don't give a fuck about this costume. I fucking hate it. I don't know why I'm doing this. And I'm like, like you ever get that? You like, could have just bought like yes, different I, stuff. I know. I know. I couldn't have. <laughs> I know. Good enough. Yeah. But gotcha. Um, no. It, it like as I'm like, have you ever done something where it's like. It's just like so it's giving you like anxiety by doing it because it's just like so tedious or something. Yeah. So it makes your like stomach. Well, turn. no, because I'm actually I'm OK with tedious stuff. No, but like I know what you, you mean. Where like your stomach turns and you're like, this is like annoying me that it's just not getting done. Yeah. And like that's how I was. And I was just like screaming in my kitchen to myself and my my hands get dirty because I went and grabbed tools for my truck. And so like they're like there's like a little bit of grime on them and so i got like a little bit of grime on my fingers and i'm like god fucking damn it i what the fuck is going on and i'm like i'm just getting pissed okay and i'm also trying to do this after i gel my hair so i'm just yeah, fucking slippery as a dog dude i'm like fucking greased up bad so i was just getting pissed off and didn't really help that right beforehand i was in my promos to get promoted to silver <laughs> and then won, lost them one, two games and then lost one. I didn't have time for another one. I ended up winning the next one after it, but because I did, just didn't get promoted before going there, mm-hmm. I just was like, I felt unaccomplished. I felt like a loser. <laughs> I thought that yeah. like I walked into the place and everybody was going, this fucking, it's a very good this point here. Fucking I want to want to add on to that. Mm-hmm. You going, you know, losing a league game, mm-hmm. some league of legends games, they're uh, sometimes 40 minutes, you know, yeah. generally 20 to 40, I'd yeah. say anything in there. So if you lose one, it's a huge dedication of time and you really yes. do feel like a piece of shit. Yes. That's why I tell people it's bad for my mental health. Yeah, it's terrible because it, the 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 wins that you get don't outweigh the losses that you feel. Yeah. And like just briefly, I mean, we're just I sprinkling would, it in. Though. Yeah, don't go I, that. I, don't I, go I, far. I was, I was, it was to get promoted to silver. So yeah. it felt even worse because like now like silver, it's like 27% of people, so you're, 27 people 
27 percent of people in league of legends are ranked silver yeah. the largest majority yeah so i don't feel like that big of a piece of shit if i'm fucking silver yeah but i'm going to this fucking jersey shore party where i'm trying to be fucking sexy trying to be yeah. hot i'm trying to get yeah. my fucking dick sucked yeah trying to fuck suck fuck yeah that's all i'm there for it's usually what you're good at yeah and i'm great at it and now you're going with a bad attitude but I'm there as a fucking bronze piece of shit. Yeah. And like people are giving me dirty looks. Because <laughs> Stop of that. sprinkling it and save it, man. We got to yeah. save it. Save but, it for later. But that's, 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 so I go into save it. Save it, man. That's, I go into it with that mindset. Okay. I'm, I'm fucking up my necklace. I'm not able to get my necklace. I'm fucking okay. greasy. I'm greasy. And I'm going to this place. And then. So we're hammered. Get there. And just immediately we call, hey, we're here. Can you let us in? Oh, right. 607. We got our friend just oh, screaming. Oh, slow down. Slow down. Hold on. We get to oh, the- Oh, I know what you're saying. We get Hold to on. the apartment. Let me say, let me jump in. We get to the- Well, it- Let me it, jump no, in. No, because it, cause it, it, it builds on my the, anger. I'm the one who called. You got to realize that this builds onto my anger. Because I was more angry about it than you. I Because it was just built up. So you're- You got to realize I lose that game. You don't want You don't want to go to this party. Well, I do. I you do. don't want to dress up like Jersey Shore. Yes. You hate the person we're celebrating their birthday. Yeah, I think she's a piece of shit. Your heart's broken. Heart is broken. You're a piece of I'm shit. I'm greased bronze. up. You're greased up. I'm my necklace. The so, necklace thing. And then we call. Okay. So we are going to ring, our ring, friend's ring. apartment to get buzzed up. Yeah. Ring ring ring. Buzz we, us in. Ring 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 ring. When you buzz it, it goes directly to your cell phone. So you yes. think, oh, that's a great system. Mm-hmm. No answer. Not if the person doesn't answer the fucking phone. <laughs> So then we we call somebody who's at the party. Somebody who notoriously is very good for answering their phone. Because she cause, just, cause her husband sucks at answering their phone. So as well. then she just starts screaming at us, 601, his room number. Yeah. 601, 601, 6, and then just hangs up. Doesn't even <laughs> say it multiple times. She just says it once. She 601. Says, she goes 601 and then hangs up on us. <laughs> Doesn't give us any fucking more. Actually, I was the one that called, by the way. I called initially. You called the second time, and you were like trying to like, "Hey, don't fucking hang up." And you were the one that talked to her. And yeah, like giving us. Yeah, it's like yes, we know what room we have to get buzzed in, and we're screaming at her on the phone, dialing buttons, and like our franticness. I'm dressed in a bro tank <laughs> or a wife beater. Yeah, you're you're greased up. I'm greased up. <laughs> I got a fucking unbuttoned t-shirt. We're screaming. I mean, we do look like we're in the Jersey Shore a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> And then a woman lets us in. Yeah. And I'm just thinking in my head, because we are the apartment that we're, um, I feel like we, it, we don't have the salary to go to this apartment. <laughs> I don't. Like they're, they're it, so currently because of COVID, they're understaffed at this apartment. Yeah. But typically they have a doorman there that they check your annual salary and your credit score. Yeah. And if it's not high enough, they don't let you into the apartment. Unfortunately, it's tough times. Yes. So they allow poor people in now. So they let poor people in there. Yes. So, unfortunately, we look like trash, garbage. NBA players definitely do live there. Yeah. And it's funny to think <laughs> that we are screaming, looking yeah. like Jersey Shore, trying to get into this place in a potential like <laughs> one of the greatest athletes in the world could just be walking by like yeah. Why the fuck did I pick this? <laughs> Why, do I Why live? did I pick this destination? Why do I live here? I could have taken a bigger, <laughs> could have taken a fucking pay cut and gone to Los Angeles. Yeah. So, anywho, we get there, get hammered on the boat. Let's yeah. jump because nothing exciting happens. And honestly, on the boat, nothing. I really just want to get to your race because I don't think well, I. There's only a couple things that are like stand out. Generally, good time. Yeah. Uh, there's like. Three key things that I have. Mm-hmm. Feel free to jump in at any point. I'll start. Mm-hmm. So we get off the boat. Obviously, we're obliterated. Yes. We have the same game plan. Mm-hmm. You know, you have to finish everything. We didn't. Yep. We have a bucket that's designed to put a keg in there. So you have ice and you, you keg it up. Yep. We bought one of those because they couldn't find a star from cooler. So they brought that. Ended up working out because we could just put all the extra stuff in there. Yep. You, when you're on a hot streak with stuff, you know, League of Legends, playing pool, racing. Laying pipe. Laying pipe. The kid won't stop. I get addicted. <laughs> you won't stop. If, if, I take, if I take a drag of something and it hits. Yeah. And it fucking hits. Uh, you best believe I'm going to keep on dragging. You're not going to stop until you get punished. 
fallen in love, I get a little bit yeah. of a taste. Yeah. Until I get punished. Until I get punished. Until somebody puts that heater out on my fucking forehead. Or, so in this pa- case, my a- kneecap. Apparently, I have w- was witness to all of it. This is what we've heard. Yes. Apparently, my eyeballs were in the direction of you, and I was laughing hard. But yeah. my brain doesn't have the memory. So, as we've stated before, the, the touch on the hot streak thing is... We've we've talked about it in other podcasts. I've been on a racing streak. I've been racing people. Yeah, literal foot races. Yeah, and since I've won a few times. <laughs> yeah, you back to back winner. In my head, I go into the night, and I'm shit talking our friends. <laughs> You're looking like, to race. I'm telling Big Reg, I'm going. You think you could actually beat me in a race? Which is funny because about five years ago, you were like. Um, <laughs> by 2025, I want to be done running for 10, ten no, years. No, by the t- age of 25. <laughs> by the age of 25? I'm 26 now. Yeah, I want to be done running. I should have been run. done running for a year now. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I should be done running. But I'm I'm shit talking people. Sure. Kind of just like the pool story. I'm Big Reg, you think you could beat me in a race? She goes, yeah, probably. Not a fucking chance. I right, tell yeah. I'm telling people left and right. Sure. I beat you in a race. I beat you in a race. Get off the boat. I take the tarp off. I'm fucking sure. Yeah. Fucking nipples rock hard. Yep. I'm fucking ready to race. Yeah. I get, any, I get a name three, them, name the place, name the start, name the stop. I'm running. Yeah. I got a three inch fucking advantage because of my fucking rock hard nipples. Yep. I'm ready to go. <laughs> I, uh, I get in my, I get in my fucking stance. I guess I, I round up. I, I believe it's two women and a dude. So you to race. Don't skip over it that much. You find strangers yes. in the park. Yeah. We're coming off the boat, off a river, mm-hmm. and we go into the public park at the heart of the city. Yep. You find random people. Yeah. And you somehow have convinced them to race you. Yeah. And they run race. And run. And so we go into this. And we, what, when we first hear the story, and as I recall it, I remember falling <laughs> so during this race. You take off. And, but... But all we know is that I fell. That's that's all we knew at first was that I had fallen well, it's not at just, the end it's of the race just, and I lost the race. This is how the story goes for me. Mm-hmm. You come off the boat hammered. Hey. Strangers. Yep. Hey. Race. Race. <laughs> and you think you can beat me in a race? No, I know my line because I, I know my line. <laughs> I told, you think that you could beat me in a race? You think that you could beat me in a race? And then and they're, they're like... Uh, Okay. <laughs> yeah, All right. Let's race. Let's race. No, people get excited about it. <laughs> when, when you, no, when you actually, when you tell people, you know this. You should know this by know. like challenging people or I know. or proposing like a goofy I know. question. But this is they, how, this they, is how they, I they imagine. Get, they go, oh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. People start shaking their hands like, oh, fuck yeah. Then you get people that want to bet on the race. You get motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. Intrigued. But in my world, right, they're like, Okay, man. Racist fat fuck. <laughs> so, <laughs> go. You guys take off, and you fucking. I mean, you maybe I. I imagine you are winning this race. Yeah. This is what I imagine. I mean, you're close to cracking the sound barrier. Yes. Right. At every everybody looks over, not because like they hear about the race or anything. They just hear. <laughs> and I and I hear in my head. Bang. Yeah. Yeah, they're going crazy. Whoa. And then you, I mean, stumble and trip and just boom, boom, boom. boom, boom. Bye, bye, bye. Ah, the horror. <laughs> <laughs> and then those people are go home and they go, this guy just wanted to race me. And he just fucking fell. <laughs> he just biffed it. He shattered his ribs. <laughs> he broke his wrist. So, Tore his ACL. So I know that shirt I... Shirt off. You're scabbed up because I'm, like a motherfucker. Because I'm brown slash blacked out. Yeah. I don't remember much. So this is except, what I imagine except, happened. Except for falling. Yeah. And so I knew that I fell. I call around to get some details. As I get details... I get told, yeah, you lost the race, we, and then you fell. Hold on, pause right there. Mm-hmm. Before you continue on, do you want me to add the last caveat? Yeah, we can. I don't give a shit. Okay. It's also funny to think, just uh, just as vague as possible, anybody who's listening will know, but whatever. Mm-hmm. After this, um, a girl that you um, had interest in, mm-hmm. you lose this race, 
you're battered, you're bleeding, <laughs> covered in blood. You're defeated. And like this you, is, hey, you're bronze still. I'm still bronze. You're well, greased piece of up. Shit. Greased up. And then Hair's she goes in a faux hawk. My my hair's styled for a comb over. And you're like just not doing well. And this girl you have definite interest in goes up to you unprompted and goes, I don't like you, nor will I ever like you or love you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and then and then she just <laughs> And the wind just she blows away. So you really got, you really got <laughs> capped off of a and rough just, one. What is going on? <laughs> it's all falling apart in front of me. <laughs> and it's funny that we say covered in blood, right? Yeah. Because like it just no, you are. It, it sounds like sounds hyperbolization. Like it is. I mean, it, it, you're not like you're not fucking like my pants were like actually in blood. Yeah, your pants had blood on it, right? You're not like a you weren't like an axe murderer. You no, were, you I weren't was, like Christian Bale in I that movie. I was bloody enough to the point where when I ran into people and I oh, I'll get I'll get to this. It's okay. I'll get I'll get to this because I actually have added to the story which I have to tell you. I can't go into it fully in detail on this, but afterwards I got to remind me afterwards to tell you. But as I run into people, it's so noticeable that they go, "James, you're covered in blood. What's sure. going on?" And I go, Oh, big fight. <laughs> Got into a big fight. <laughs> to the point where I convince people. You're convincing that, people who aren't with us. That I got into fights. And where they, um, people who weren't in our group, in the boat group, mm-hmm. came up to the boat group. Like people, like yes. one out acquaintance of, of us was like, yo, James got into a fight. Yeah. And fight. then our friend replies, <laughs> no, he fucking did it. Yeah. He just fell. Which like is crazy. Which is funny because talking to him this previous weekend, yeah. he's like, like he was like, I was impressed too because like you were banged up on like the hands and the, <laughs> and the knees. There was not shit wrong with your face. So I was like, damn, James really fucked he him up. He was scrapping. He was scrapping. You're a grappler down there. <laughs> yeah. And so that was funny. But as I pieced together more information for people, yeah. it come to find out, uh, as I take off, I get a little sabotage. I get a lead. And this girl who's a random <laughs> a girl who doesn't know you yanks down on me and like sh- elbows me and like pushes me down. Sabotage. But you. because I'm so fucked up, I got my momentum going. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and then try to recover the whole time. <laughs> I go a good like 40 yards without being able to like get it back. And I just doof, boom, bang. Pow. Sure. And I like I must have fallen because it, it, it's impressive that not only are the back of my hands fucked up, but also the front of my hands. So that makes me think that I stopped myself with one part of my hands and fell so long that I was able to twist my hands around and try to stop myself with both mm-hmm. both ends of my hands. Tore your ACL probably. Fucked up my knee. Or meniscus like, is it the same I, knee. I think it's the meniscus. Yeah. I, I, I mean, because it's just pain. It like lateral movement seems like still fine. My wrist is still bruised to this day. Yeah. It's like it hurts bad. Yeah, you got a scab still. Still got a bad scab. So yeah, no good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, allegedly I saw it. Don't remember. Don't remember it. My night, not as, uh, you know, financially a little bit more damaging. Yeah. Nothing crazy for me. Went so little back to the bucket. Mm-hmm. While taking the bucket back home, mm-hmm. you could walk it all the way back, which yeah. if you're hammered, no. I mean, it's like, it's probably like 40 pounds. Yes. And it takes two people to carry. So we took it to an Uber. We tried to get it into the trunk. It just like the size was too big. It wouldn't fit. So we just like lapped it in the backseat of a like a three person Uber. Yep. And in the midst of it, my AirPods popped right out of my pocket. Gone. Lost. Yep. Where it could be in the forest. It could be anywhere. Yep. So I decided to go back with a crew of two people. My girlfriend and my friend Kayla. Mm-hmm. I mean, we we search everywhere. These are the only people that you're with. At this yeah. Point. The only two people. Mm-hmm. High and low. I mean, you just can't fucking find these motherfuckers. Yeah. Dude, I mean, like, I was... I didn't want to them to go unfound because I was like, it, it'll just always linger in the back of my head. Like, yeah. n- where were they? Yeah. Did I not try hard enough? Mm-hmm. Did somebody steal them? Did you know? Because you know, like, generally, they're... um. You have the location, right? So I can go back to the location and find where they were. Mm-hmm. And... We're looking for 20 minutes, and I just go, okay, let's wrap it up, gang. Like, let's get the fuck out of here. And then Kayla goes, there they are. Middle of the street. <laughs> you turn around, excited <laughs> as can be. 
just smashed. They're just crushed. Yeah, it ran over like crazy. I mean, um, yeah, it like I was just happy I found them. To be yeah. honest, so fine. We get the AirPod back. Let's reconnect with everybody. Allegedly, um, we're go. Everybody's going back to the apartment that we were first at. We're gonna group up, go out together. Yes, sir. On the way back, we go through the Deer District. Yep. There you are, solo, harassing <laughs> strangers. Hey, <laughs> bloody. Who do you think the best uh, basketball <laughs> player of all time is? I mean, I literally don't know. I don't know where you were going. Yeah. It's not the first time that I found you like this. <laughs> it's not. It won't be the last. Yeah. And we go, hey, just join our group. And I go, oh, thanks. <laughs> and we go back to the apartment to um, Kayla's husband coming out. Yep. Going. <laughs> so you want me to just, okay, well, <laughs> I can bleep this part. Here, I'll just throw the my hand out here. Hey, we're not going, let me, let's me. let reset it. We're just. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, AG comes down and goes. All right, where are we going now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just, where are we going? We're not now? going up there. Yeah. So and we, then we got other shit to do. We go, we connect with other people downtown. Yep. We have husbands passed out. His wife goes different group. I don't know what to do. Uber won't take him. <laughs> just said can't. He's not getting to my Uber. That guy throws up black and whatever. That's the end of the night, essentially. <laughs> yes. It is funny that we we simply brush past the fact that even just between us, we had different nights. There was about six different groups on that boat. Yeah, and they all scattered. Into yeah, the- it's what happens. You know, if you're if you uh, get thirty people to just slam alcohol as quickly as possible, and then you leave them in the heart of the city, they're yeah. gonna scatter. I mean, to be fair, like I, it was so confusing to me because I go, I like we went to that one bar. And that's it. And like I took a shot there and had yeah. a drink and that's it. And like I remember drinking a little bit and I remember taking a little bit of shots on sure. the boat. I was like, I don't know how I got so fucked up. And then I realized that between I just kept on filling up and drinking the Philly mix, which between the two jugs, which mainly three of us drank. Did you drink any? Uh, Yeah. I mean, I drank it right out the gallon. I'm surprised nobody got COVID. <laughs> oh, um, so like. Mainly, though, it was me, T-Rog, and T-Voss drinking Phil Mix. Yeah. And it was a full 175 handle of Tito's. And I go, oh, that makes sense. That's why I was so fucked up. You're right. I didn't, I, it didn't even dawn on me that I was just slamming pretty much straight vodka with a splash of yeah, Arizona. Yeah, that's what it was. Arizona half and half. And it, like, that next day, I was, I woke up still hammered. We go get some fucking wings. And like, as I'm talking to you guys, FaceTiming everybody. Sure. Everybody clears day just as like, God damn it. Big guy's still fucked up. Right. Yep. And that was that weekend. Mm-hmm. Flash forward to this past one. Um. Okay. So I went to a wedding. It's the summer of weddings for me. Yeah. And instead you, of just going. You can't escape. No, it's, I still have five left. That's so. Okay. Instead of just discussing another wedding, I thought it'd be a little fun thing to do. This you feel free to jump in whenever you want. Just like things to avoid or things you always should do at weddings. Like a general rule of thumb, what's going on at weddings? Don't step on the bride's chest. Those are fine, right? Yep. Think think of Don't bang the bride. Fine. Okay. Here's my first rule. Don't jizz in your pants. If people are doing cocaine. Don't bring it up. Yeah. Keep it to yourself. Yep. Um, Don't jizz in your pants. I was going to say that. I was going <laughs> to yeah. say that. Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah. No backflips. But if you do jizz in your pants, wear, like, and you, you know <laughs> that you're susceptible, wear, wear a condom. condom. Wear a condom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like, treat it like you're getting fucking general torso chicken from. Correct. Yeah. Um, The best man speeches, the maid of honor speeches, they're always going to suck. It's what it is. Hey. Unless you're the kid. Okay. Unless you're the kid. Sure. But is that is that fair? For the most part, they're not usually good. They're going to suck dick. But one thing you should do, mm-hmm. tell them it's great. Yes. Go on to them. Dude, you crushed it. Yeah. Well, I told I told uh <laughs> I told uh, the best man at this and I was like, "Dude, you're the best speech." Yeah. 
and I go, this, uh, I mean, thank God you cleaned up after her. The maid of honor fucking sucked. <laughs> Way to ring it in. He did fine, though. Like, yeah. he did good. You do that. Yep. Dads mm-hmm. always do good. Yes. They never do bad. Yeah. 100%. Because you know what the thing is? You go into a wedding, right? Yeah. And you never know if the maid of honor or best man actually cares about the uh, about the people getting married that much. Mm-hmm. The dads have been you, waiting you, for you, this for a while. You, you don't know if they reciprocate the love that's that that, that that's bestowed upon them. Right. But they but they the are father. they're chosen as they're chosen it for that position, right? You yeah. hope that they love you, right? Yeah. But you're picked because you know they like you. Yeah. Generally. And the, so you hope that it's you know, a nice, sometimes it's not, <laughs> sometimes yeah. it's all about them. Yeah. But the father always does love them enough to give them a good old speech. It doesn't, it can be funny. Yep. It can be sentimental. Yep. They're going to, they're going to kill. Mm-hmm. Everyone is going to like it. I've seen yep. dads bawling, right? Really? Sure. My uncle Ray. What the fuck? At uh, Max and Ashley's wedding. What the heck? Crushed it. Yeah. Everybody loved it. Yeah. Oh yeah. You cried during it? Who didn't? There wasn't a dry eye in the crowd? Yeah. I mean, he stuttered through the whole thing. He was hammered, crying, standing ovation. Yeah. It's dads will always do dad's well. Dad's crush. Dad's crush. If you're hungry for more food, you can get seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you can't. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you can't. Yeah. Or sometimes you can. Sometimes you can. Yeah. But also, sometimes you can't. And sometimes when you can't get seconds, you also definitely shouldn't go for thirds. Shouldn't have got... (laughs) I shouldn't have got thirds. (laughs) That's true. Like, shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have brought the cocaine up either. Yeah. Don't do that. Yes. If... Okay. This is what I've learned. Mm -hmm. If you are drinking alcohol, you're going to drink a lot. If you're going to smoke weed, just a bit. Just a little bit. Flip it. Smoke weed first, then drink. Really? I don't think so. Because you can mellow out, right? If you no. If you smoke weed after, you're going to drop your girlfriend. That's what's going to happen. You, okay, do not say that. You are bound to drop your girlfriend no matter what. Sometimes you drop your girlfriend no matter what. You drop women. <laughs> you drop them. That's what you do. And she's going to say, this is so embarrassing. I can't believe you did this. And yeah. then you tell her, it's going to happen, babe. I'm going to drop you. How many? You've dropped her before, right? She, luckily, no. Wait, really? No. It's only been... Uh, it's been other people. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I've dropped other people. But uh, hey. Hey, not other people. Other women. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. And every... <laughs> yeah, much, I've never dropped a man. <laughs> <laughs> I have only dropped women. And almost every time that a woman goes in your hand... And I shouldn't... And I say woman... I say woman. I mean, I've and, dropped and, I've dropped a woman more than once. The same one. Yeah. You, sure. you drop women. I mean, concuss. But let me make this clear. <laughs> you don't drop girls. No. You don't drop men. You drop women. Drop women. Yeah. Yeah. And you can. You can. Yeah. Well, if I mean, if, if they trust you with the dip. That's their fault. Yeah. Come on. That's true. That's she fault. shouldn't have let me dip her. Oh, you want a piggyback ride? Yeah. That's your fault. Except sure. the liability. Mm-hmm. You're signing on the dotted what, line. What, I'm going to roll my ankle and drop you? Yeah. <laughs> That's your fault. Yeah. You can't even pitch a fucking kickball without rolling your ankle. Mm-hmm. You think that you can carry a woman on your back? Nope. A man you can. A man you a can. A man, I really have complete faith in everything. Yes. A woman, no. we're going, we're tumbling. Well, yeah. Well, because also, you should have told her this. You should have said, well, babe, it's because I'm weak in the knees for you. Um, That's what she said. It's that. Another wedding suggestion. Yeah. If the tarps are on, take them off. Take them off. Yeah. You, always, them off. you always go tarps off. Tarps off. Yeah. And you don't need to go fully down, but you expect seven or eight buttons down. And if you got 20 prospects that can have sex with you, don't have sex with any of them. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not your fault. Yes. Because you can't get a word in. Yeah. Because if you can't get in a word yeah. to them, how are you supposed to make love to them? If you can't, I mean, it's if you... Because you, it's not that there isn't time. You just can't. There's just the, there's the, no the, the, the opportunity. Just doesn't present itself. And if the opportunity doesn't present itself, you don't just seize a random opportunity. No, that's my guidelines. If you don't just seize random op- seize the opportunity, no. Always bring cash to a wedding. 
It's a real mm-hmm. tip. Really? Yeah, because you got to tip people. A literal tip. Literal, literally, you have to tip people. No. Do you ever do... Fuck it. It's free. It's all free. Get fourths. Yeah. Yes. Get fourths. <laughs> and no tip. And no present. If you if you see like a butler looking person walking around, spit in their fucking face. Yeah. They got a tray in their hand, fucking smack it out of their hand. If you need weed, you can find weed. Yeah. You just have to tell people. Yeah. I told so many people. Mm-hmm. I said, hey, if you find weed, find me. And, as and a, they did. And as a favor to the groom, mm-hmm. always make a move on the bride to make sure that she's actually loyal. And if you come your pants. Wear a condom. Wear a condom. Yeah. So. I, that's why I don't order Chinese food without wearing a condom nowadays. I didn't plan on finding marijuana, didn't plan on smoking cigars, mm-hmm. and I've done it a full month in a row. Yeah. It is, truthfully, some of my favorite things to do. Just smoking cigars and weed, huh? And dropping my girl. Dropping your girl. Mm-hmm. That is the most embarrassing thing. <laughs> she was so... I mean, her face was red, and I was like, yeah, this is... I mean, this is what you signed up for. It's what it is. How has she never... She's never she been... Got, dropped- it's because we're madly in love. Yeah, she got lucky. Well, that's why you're weak in the knees for her. Mm-hmm. And so you sometimes can't hold her up. Yep. Underneath the stress of oh, just yeah. being in love. I mean, you fell. I fell. It's what happens sometimes. You really want to pick the scab on the camera? Yeah. Keep it. I like picking at the scab. Ow! Um, Especially when it hurts a little bit. Reminds me of the fucking, reminds me of the pain that I've been through. Truthfully, though, I did have a good time. Internally. You know? Physically. Um, mentally. I, the best man and I were just kicking it the whole night. Um, I interacted with him, with him one time. I felt like a fucking complete asshole. Why? Because I just watched those before movies. Yeah. Which are like, they're, they're a little pretentious. Yeah. So I'm going in with this like, <laughs> like pseudo intellectual yeah. thought. So yeah. I'm just preaching to this guy. I mean, you're always pretentious. I know. Yeah. I know. But it felt really, yeah. <laughs> it was really hammering this guy but he was still into it and i was like ah man i just keep waterboarding this guy (laughs) (laughs) like i'm trapping him to be fair that's how i feel whenever i get like any new person into conversation with me i know yeah you just like and all right man all right all right yeah i uh wedding was nice that's good yeah another thing don't go on a podcast talking shit about a wedding after you go to a wedding oh yeah that is. don't do that it never works but you can't yeah, but you can. You shouldn't. But you can. But you can. Mm-hmm. Especially if you like the wedding. Like, if the wedding was a good time for you. I know, right? Because, honestly, um, I've only truthfully been to one bad wedding. Yeah. Yeah, I Name mean. Trouble. No. <laughs> oh, here's a real. Feth and Soko? Another real tip. Uh, when the music hits. Get dance, your, dance your fucking ass off. Get out off. there and fucking dance. Yeah, that 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 is really the biggest like letdown to me. Yeah, is if you don't have a group of people dancing. Yeah, because that kind of like then really the staff is like fucking bored. The DJ yeah. doesn't want to be there. Like oh, it's yeah. just like well, then what do we do? Like the people are paying to yeah. like have a party. So just like the least you could do is. Dance, get out the comfort zone a little bit. Get out of the, yeah. Dance a bit. Loosen up. Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to do? Not dance? No. We're the dancing queens. Yeah. Drop your girlfriend. <laughs> drop her. Drop, drop her. her. Drop get her fifth. Her hey. <laughs> Make another <laughs> round. Make another round. Fucking spit in the waiter's face. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. I don't care. Gra- grab the food. When you grab the food, you don't put the, You put the food away? Bring it back up. Yeah. Cough when you're over the food. It's mm-hmm. more for you. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any other wedding tips you want to talk about? Um, no, not particularly. I didn't go in uh, thinking of any wedding tips, so I, I don't really have a whole lot of wedding tips. Always wear your pants. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, pants on, tarps off. Yeah, pants on, tarps off. Backflips are allowed. Backflips are allowed. Yeah. Um, don't have to be that good at backflips. <laughs> don't have to be even kind of good. Don't have to practice them either. Never had to attempt a backflip. Try it out at a wedding. Yes. yes. And then once you kind of get it, mm-hmm. say spotters back off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got this one. Oh, yeah. Um, Guess what? Get sweaty. Get very sweaty. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Get sweaty. Do coke. (laughs) (laughs) But don't talk about it. Don't bring it up. Don't bring it up. Do it in front of my father. Yeah. Who cares? Let your your pops walk in. (laughs) Let him know the real you. Say it in the open. That is a good thing, though, is let when you're at a wedding. Yeah. 
let the old people know who you are. Yeah. Like, let the parents know who you are. Don't pretend like you're somebody you're not. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fully lit up. Say the N-word. <laughs> <laughs> go, go on an anti-Semitic rant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go crazy. If you get the microphone. Kill someone. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you get the microphone, slander the Jews. <laughs> School shooter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, bring your gun. Shoot up the fucking wedding. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Shoot the fucking place up. Who gives a fuck? Wear your bulletproof vest. <laughs> And if this is, these are general tips for weddings. Yeah, general most weddings. Most it'll get, weddings. It'll get you through most weddings. Yeah. I've never, I, so I've never been to like uh, anything like exotic, like, a, you know, like one of those Indian weddings. Or, okay, sure. Or like, right. Or like a Jewish wedding. Sure. Never been to those. So yeah. those might be a little bit different. But the like, weddings that we've been to. Like maybe bring an AR to those. <laughs> <laughs> Not a handgun. <laughs> So, yeah, if you're ever going to a wedding anytime soon, yes. keep any of these in the back of your mind. Use them. Mm-hmm. Um, tip well. Yeah, tip well. Tip well. Be good. Be good. Be, cut. Get Be good to the staff. Get six. Get six. <laughs> yeah. Fill up. Take shit home. Yeah. Steal. <laughs> um, if you see any cards labeled for the bride and groom, those Take are for them. anybody. Take them. Those are for anybody. If you your girlfriend's got a purse... Stuff that bad boy. And then drop her again. Then drop her. If she's on the ground, kick her. (laughs) (laughs) If she if she cries, yeah. Leave her. (laughs) (laughs) Because she wasn't strong enough for you anyways. Yeah. Leave her. If she's too emotional at a wedding, leave her. Dump her. Dump her. Yeah. Kill her family. Okay, we're done. Pro- we're pro- done with this. Propose to your girl during the <laughs> ceremony. <laughs> okay, all right. Propose. Yeah. That's good. Propose. If she says no, leave. Bully the smallest person there. Yeah. Yeah. Say the N-word again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's one of my favorite parts of Wolf of Wall Street. When um, they're on the plane, Leo is chained up, seatbelts. Yeah. He's like trying to get out. Donnie, get me out of here. He's like, I can't. The marshal came in and did this to you last night. And he was like, what? He's like, you called him the N-word. <laughs> he was really upset. <laughs> he said, I did? <laughs> uh, yeah. Anywho. Okay. Now we have the back half of this. We have about 18-ish minutes. Yeah. The, the floodgates are open. Let's talk about League of Legends. The only scary part about this is the last time that we slandered our friend. It didn't we're work. not slandering. <laughs> I mean, it's not slander because not, it's true. Not, <laughs> hey, <laughs> but, if I talk, but if I talk League, I'm going to have to trash T Boss a bit. Hey, I so I want to talk <laughs> about this a bit. I won't trash him too hard because I love him. But it's very funny that uh, you and I have gotten back into the League of Legends because it's, of a, him. it's a love hate relationship yeah. with the game. Sure. We come and go. It's ebb and flow, you know? My And we get back yeah. into it because our friend T Voss tells us, I'm good now. Yep. Yes. Come to find out at that time he had about sixty games played. Mm-hmm. He was like low bronze and had like a mid win rate. So we're like, okay, let's crank it out. And we're well, you, well wanna, you you started first. And I well and I go, Well, I've played like a little bit of league here and there. Like I play one off games whenever I'm bored or get invited to. And I, I'm like, oh, I'm not that fucking good. But I'm also not putting any effort in. I, it's like one-off games. Literally one a month or something, two a month. Something like that. So I go in, well, this is the worst I've ever been. So, you know what? He's probably way better than me. I go and play a few games with him, and he actually is like on par with me for the first <coughs> few games. Yeah. But I'm also trying to find my footing. I don't know what champion I'm actually good at. I'm not like actively thinking about that. Mm-hmm. And then it gets to this point where I just... Uh, Realized that when I solo queued, I was winning a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> or then I got a friend that was also carrying me. And uh, it was just very funny. Because now we've gotten to this point where we are... He's our favorite person to play with. I think that I can... Without question. I think I can actively say I have more fun playing that game with him. Than, than without. Than without. Yes. 
but, but there's a time and place. But also... And my, it's out of solo queue. My LP screams. <laughs> my fucking rank screams when I play with him. Like, please and let me out. It's not his fault. No, it's not. It isn't. No. Okay. Things that... Are, it's not his fault that he... That like, it's not... It, the, the, the issue really lies in the fact with like his mechanics... His yes. macro, micro. his decision making, his micro vision, vision control. control. Yeah. Um, his, ag- out his aggression, putting out damage. <laughs> he has no vision. <laughs> he has no vision. <laughs> he has no motivation. <laughs> he has no fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. <clears throat> it was very funny because we we got this new. There's this new app on uh on the computer where you can just type in your pregame lobby and it gives you general like things about people. Which we play a few games. We run into somebody and it goes bad smiter. <clears throat> I end up stealing two two dragons. Right, me. so you're utilizing that. Yes. Aggressive yeah. laner. So aggressive laner. Now right. you're like, okay, if they're aggressive, that means they're gonna be pushed up a lot so you can gank them. Yes, and it ends up working out. I end up getting you some kills because of that. It, it'll team, tell you one strong twitch. Teemo one trick pony. Yeah. The guy's locked in mid. Bad Teemo as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> on top of being so a one trick. He's bad. No, he's on my team, so he's. I. I was like, I should probably fucking dodge. This. So we do it we for. Should have dodged. It. We do it for our friend Tyler. Our, what comes our, up? He 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 goes. Well, what's it say about me putting mine in? And he locks in Wukong. Yeah. Beforehand, it goes like, you know, uh, Wukong lover, Master Yi lover. Yeah. Um, bad at. Uh, I don't know whoever he like. I forgot who it was. Garen, maybe. Yeah, I think so. Something that he had a low... No, because he has a high win rate on that. Okay. It was something. And then goes into the game, locks in Wukong. Although it said Wukong lover, it then just lights him up. And it goes, <laughs> bad vision control, passive jungler, uh, low damage. Bad goal per minute. Bad bad dra- dragon control. Bad, dra- bad, bad objective control. I mean, it's just lighting him up for yeah. us. And I'm like saying it. And he goes, why are you saying these things about me? I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just done, yeah. But that being said, this game has brought out a new side of me where I just am I'm mean to you. I'm mean to that guy. I mean, to, I even like in, in general, like I just feel like. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. Like a piece I know. We're shit. starting to get dark. Yeah. I'm just a piece of shit. It started off. You we and got, I wanted to play. Hey, we just told people to shoot up fucking weddings. I know. I know. Of League of Legends. I mean, we started to, we started playing. Um, we started, we started playing League of Legends to play with him. And now we're trying our hardest to get out of the ranks. So we can't play with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, that being I, said, we, we always have to say this. He is the most fun person to play with. Probably. I actually don't like it isn't his fault, right? Yes. He is bronze. Mm-hmm. He is it's where he should be. Right? <laughs> Again, it's No, not I a, think that he could be silver four. He could, but as of right now, yeah. He shouldn't. It was very funny that I threw out the uh to him because I was very I was like, what's your LP at right now? He's like 42 bronze one. I yeah. Go, yeah, we'll get in close. He goes, Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be silver tomorrow. I go, if you hit silver tomorrow, I will literally suck my own dick on camera <laughs> and swallow the juice. Yeah. And he goes, I'm making you swallow that juice. Yeah. He snapchat- Fun fact. He Snapchats me. He goes, it's about to happen. I see him win one. I think that he wins two in a row. Yeah. And I go, oh, no. <laughs> and somebody, somebody bans Master Yeah. <laughs> it goes, oh, my bad. And then. Proceeds to grab Smite, follow him around his <laughs> as a Nivea. As a Nivea, walls him off from his buffs. <laughs> Just starts stealing his shit. <laughs> He's like, I'm getting counter jungle by the enemy jungler and my own jungler. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it, that is when it takes a turn for the worst. Other times, people are like, "Oh, I only play Yi," and then steal his like pre lock in yeah. from him. Again, those things aren't his fault. Yes. But when we're playing it okay, this is really truthful now, right? Yes. When we, him and I play together, right? Yeah. I'm not good enough to recover from him. He's playing like a literally a tier ahead of him. If yeah. I was playing with like gold one and uh low platinum people, I would get rocked every time. Yes. So when he jumps in my lobby, he's playing with like, um, like like gold people or like mm-hmm. high silver. Yep. And there's no he when he when he, he's literally the only bronze player, right? Yep. So like he just doesn't have the game sense for that level. 
It, so it's just like I can't. <laughs> it is true, though, because I, I was watching uh, like How to Climb from Each Elo. And the guy like put it best. He was like, it is substantial, like even from Elo to Elo, although it seems like so small from bronze to silver. But like you look at jungle clear times alone just from like that. Yeah. It's insane from silver to gold, gold to platinum. Yeah, Because you and, you and I are like right now I'm playing at a way higher level than I'm at. Right. I'm uh, like you and I, when we win games, we still get like 20 ish, a okay. little bit more than 20 LP. That's how you know you're. MMR is higher than where you you're currently ranked. If it's like sixteen yeah. ish, it's where you should be. Yes. So you and like you're on a nine game win streak. When I don't play with Tyler, I was also on the nine game win streak. Were you on a nine game? I was on. I think I was in the past ten games. I think I was eight and two or something like that. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm on. I'm on a. I'm like going fucking. St- I, I, I hit the hyperbolic time chamber by swapping all uh, mains. I randomly like. When I was at my best, I played support for you. Yeah, because that was that was just it. I just like I was uh, I was confident in my mechanic ability, but I just like was never uh, happy about my like micro mm-hmm. gameplay. So support fit me pretty decently. But now I've been playing jungle, and like for like last season and like the season before when I played my one off games, I only played in Italy. Mm-hmm. Love Nidalee, like, like the champion a lot. But uh, not, I'm not, like, amazing at her. So, like, to impact games, like, it was hard. Whereas, like, Amumu, I've taken well, that yeah, champion. In order to impact the games with Nidalee, you just have to, like, do, do crazy damage and, like, do shit like that. But, like, Amumu, even when he's behind, he still has stuns. Yeah, and then, like, you go, oh, well, I got my ADC ahead. So I don't initiate, I just peel for my ADC and my ADC just and I have fucking two stuns mm-hmm. like just being on somebody in general yeah and then like you can, so Mumu has stuck. can like throw his bandages like two twice now? gets two charges of them that is nice you're like Spider-Man dude that's crazy it's fucking sick yeah I played with my buddy who's a one trick pony mm-hmm. Singe which I, it's hard to say because he plays Singe Trinomir and Lux I still like Singe more than I like you yeah so, yeah, I didn't realize how good it was because I come to gank his lane. I throw out the bandage, first bandage, and it stuns him. He's able to then throw him into the sticky, which yeah. roots him. And he's got his toxin behind him. As soon as he gets out of the root, I'm able to throw another bandage. Imagine these champions like a decade ago. Yeah. <laughs> like Amumu, Amumu, like Misfortune, Malphite Alt. That shit was crazy. And now yeah. they're like... They're Which, good. They're still good. And a Mumu like, alt is now a stun. Was it just what was it before? A root. Root. Yeah. Yeah. It was a mass root. Now it's a mass, a mass stun. stun. Which is insane. Yeah. Because yeah. roots, roots. Uh, you can still your, use your abilities. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some of them. Uh, it does we, fuck up some abilities. I feel like we have to say one more compliment with Tyler Voss because I'm not trying to hurt his feelings. Yes. Um. We're just he's, he's <laughs> don't <innovative>. say that. <laughs> no, he's uh he's innovative. He has created a mastery heat tank. It's okay on the op.gg, right? A yes. lot of people run that. Yes, I, that doesn't mean it's good. Do a lot of people run ye though in general? No, 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 no. I mean, it's not. But hey, I mean, it's his comfort pick. Yeah. Again, I like the the games of Wukong that I've seen him play that he's played with me. Mm-hmm. Way more impactful. I, I'll say this too. Um, when I was playing with, because it's been actually a long time since I've played with Team Awesome, a ranked duo. Uh, Try it out. I'll do it on an alt account. Try it out. I'm currently, and it's not even like, I'm even like scared to play with you a little bit. Like, Why? Because like, I know that you'll go neutral in lane. Yeah. Whereas like. Or I'll out CS him. Or you'll. It's, t- it's how I win, baby. Yes. Which like is fine. But then if I play with like my other buddy, Doobies. Right. He's there. going to crush. Or if I solo queue, I know that like. I can get like one of my lanes ahead or somebody like extremely ahead and I can like kind of play the dice. Whereas you, I know what I'm always getting. Yeah. And it's never it's, like a lane that crushes. No, it doesn't crush, which is fine. It, but you like, know what? that's where that, and like, I'm, that's why I play with you. I'm good with that. I may, I, this is what I focus on in my lanes, right? I small advantages. Yeah. I'm a small advantage all day. Yeah. Right. But sometimes we get like a 35 minute game and you do 14,000 damage. That's fine. <laughs> and that's okay. Yeah. And sometimes, very rarely, but sometimes I do do some damage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
And it doesn't help when you're severed, right? Yes. If I'm playing Twitch, I can do a lot more damage. Yeah. I mean, I'll say this too, is like the, the toxicity doesn't stop with anybody for me. I, no, I know. I was playing a game with you and I was, it, it's, it is my favorite thing to do in League because I think that it's hilarious to do, is to talk about somebody kind of like in the third, like. Oh, like they're not right there? That, like they're not right there and right. call them by their character name. So like if you're, I'm playing with you. As you're if you're playing Sivir. with a random. Yeah. I'm playing with yeah. you who's playing Sivir and I get go. I just don't get where Sivir is. Sivir's just never with the team. Like, he doesn't want to fight with the team or something. And you go, hey, man, come on. Why are you making... Because You're like, I wouldn't do that to you. I literally never would do that to you. Yeah. And we... There was two games that you literally go, okay, well, I guess we just fucking lose. It's over, right? But then I got us back into it. I mean, we were... I was never out of it. Well, we were losing, and it was a clear advantage. Dude, when you duo queue... You just have so much fucking advantage. Yeah. Um, what is fun about you and I, though, is that our mindsets are just so... <laughs> we have a clashing... Because Dragon's botline, right? You want to have Dragon control like crazy, yeah. but I will refuse to lose CS to help a little bit on Dragon, and that's a constant little... I think that we need to start VOD reviewing. I actually don't, because... the. I, I have to find that video again and link it to you because it is, I think, a really good... Although I think that those are usually trash videos, this one like went like ELO by ELO, the thing that you should learn, and like how it all leads up into like by Diamond at D Diamond, that's when you start VOD reviewing. Before that, it's completely useless. Yeah. Because if you don't... No, if, that's fair. Because before Diamond, all the other things are like things that like you should improve on, and then it allows you when you VOD review to go like, oh... I should have done this instead of that. Mm -hmm. Whereas like, I don't think that. Well, like, cause at that level, you at least can understand it. Yeah. Like when you're silver and, and you're watching like your silver review, you're like, well, I guess I should have missed dodge all of those abilities. Yeah. But instead I just thought like, you have to worry about your mechanics. You have to worry like game sense is, it's not really like a, um, it's not like something quantifiable. It's something like, it's just, you have to feel it from playing the yes. game. You know, you, uh, there are moments that you can just make calls like, Get this tower, get this dragon, get this baron, and you know you can get it. It just it's like a feeling. Yes. It it it's a. Uh, I mean, there's also like knowing like you, yeah, you can know timers subliminally and... know you hey, I just saw Shaco top, so therefore I can go for dragon now. Yeah. Or like I just saw Shaco at Rift Herald, so I gotta answer with dragon or a tower. Yeah. Like something like that. Um there was a thing where I was like, okay, maybe I'm giving David too much shit whenever I grab these dragons. It's because he was like at platinum start to smurf and like play other accounts and play different roles. So and you put, can understand and put yourself in their shoes <laughs> and understand like that it's a team game and there's like advantages. Like sometimes you shouldn't take the kill. Like if you noticed even after that, like yesterday I was pulling off of kills a lot, allowing you to get them mm -hmm. or allowing our mid lane to get them. Or even last night, like when I played with Jorm did the same thing. It's a, actually a really good video. It, it, it like harps on like very like basic things but like kind of goes into them like in depthly and I'd like watch why it. they're why they're important. And they're for like each ELO too, like I'm thinking of buying coaching. One of the, I'm thinking of getting a little bit of coaching. One of the things that um I think it's it's hard for you to understand when you're coming down bot lane is that um that whole to win the whole lane, right? Obviously there's like matchup to matchup, but like you can really just win it just from like wave management. Yeah. Like straight up. So there are times because item spikes in, in on an ADC are like so much bigger than like almost any other thing in the. Game. So there are just times where, like you'll you'll call for a dragon and their wave is pushing into my tower, and if that happens and I get the dragon, it'll just like I I'll miss my I'll miss my back, so I can't get the items. So I'll be an item back. Or I'll miss all that gold, and then I'll be an item back from that. So it's like I have to literally. Even last night, though, I was trying to learn from it. Yeah, because I, I I would say, hey, can you crash your wave? If the support, and, and I, the support notice, can go. If you notice, I was calling that sometimes. The support and, should go. Yeah, because I can like usually when it's like we're like six or yeah. seven, and we're getting that first dragon, or maybe say I don't know. You like the support should be able to just go. And yeah. I can get solo, like, turret plates. And then all of a sudden, we get the dragon. We have so solo turret plates. I have, like, I'm beating them in wave management. Yeah. And then, like, then it's fucking, Be it's over. Because of that website, though, it's made me think more about, like, things like dragon, though. Like, because 
I've given up in like my last 10 games, maybe I think like two or three dragons. Mm -hmm. Like I've, I fully, I've dominated some aspect of every single game that I've been in, Mm -hmm. which I've just like been like overly thinking about those things. So like I, but I have been like, even I probably did it more with Jorm last night afterwards where I was like, Hey, can you crash your wave? What is your mindset when you get, um, let's say we get to about a mid game, maybe top tower is gone. Right, something like that. Mid tower still good. Bottom tower still good. Where where are you thinking? What are, what is you what are you trying to do? What is your objective? Depends on lane. Like this is literally what I'm. This is what I'm thinking. Yeah. Right. So let's say I'm in landing phase. Right. Nothing's pushed. Yeah. My goal is obviously to get the tower. Right. Yeah. Get the tower. Get any advantage. Gold up. If that's true, my next objective is mm-hmm. to get the top tower. Push that in. Right. And then mid. Yeah. And then once mid, like once those first three towers are gone, I'm pretty much sticking in mid the whole game, the rest of the game. Yeah. Because there's no reason I should be top or bottom by myself. I mean, it's very, it's very uh, game to game reliant, right? There's a, uh, there's certain times where, and then and just it, like it, start it, focusing around it, objectives. It, it depends on like objective timing. Like if, well, right. Yeah, obviously. But um, like there's like, it depends on who's on my team and shit like that. Like, I'll let certain uh, champions like solo lane because of XP and shit. So I won't like even try to go to their lane unless mm-hmm. like I have a clear gank opportunity and shit like Irelia, Kale, things like that. I try to just like get solo XP and solo farm just because it's so important for them to level and get items. And then there's just like uh, if my I don't gank losing lanes like that's not like a joke. Like it's no, not, I know it like it's just not worth it. I mean, there there is the only losing lane that I will gank. Unless it's like that game I was just playing here, completely fucked is bot lane. Because if if bot lane's like losing, a three v two is so much better than like a two v one in like a losing lane. Because a two v one, you can like turn it. Whereas like in the uh, bot lane, you can usually with three people, like especially as a mumu, stun lock and yeah. get like shut down. So you'll still be able to get it killed. So like when I the game last night. Um, that Teemo game that I've talked about, I want to go into it a little bit more because it was very funny. So that Teemo was just toxic immediately. Mm -hmm. Uh, His lane roams down when I'm getting scuttled. He doesn't ping. Comes and kills me (laughs) with the jungler. So I get fucked in the river. Just ends up fucking me. Teemo's just ends up going like two and six Mm -hmm. in the mid lane. Goes to get his tower. It's a race. He doesn't realize that it's a race though. He misses like five autos on his turret mm-hmm. misses first tower gold mm. but has the nerve to like flame jorm in the bot lane <laughs> because he lost his lane even yeah. though jorm was like three and two like he was still doing and like yeah i think the gin was very fed yeah the gin ended up went like 16 and one mm-hmm. and we beat them no oh, nice but uh the gin was like fed but i got jorm like a double kill at one point and it just like Kind of snowballed into like yeah that uh, he that was, helps. He was able to just like hard carry the game between him and misfortune because he had a misfortune support. I saw that and it did insane damage as well. So you're saying you even though like a losing lane like bot lane you'll still kind of help because you'd rather he, with, have the two people. Yes, because with with three people you're able to like set up like a and CCG. ads are always doing damage to towers. Yes, the um whereas, I was I was like I go gank like a losing top lane. You can get two v one so fucking easily. Like a volley bear will two v one you under tower sometimes. Yeah, and it's like okay, well, I'm like, not gonna go there at all. What the fuck waste. is this? Or like mid, like you go against like a mid Akali and like you just get styled on. It's like the uh, <clears throat> the game right before here. I had an Elise jungle. I got ganked. I think I let this guy know that we just played League tonight. <laughs> oh, you're just getting addicted now? No, just yeah. go, just go to the gym because I have to edit the podcast anyways. Uh, yeah, true. Yeah, so we'll end it right here. Tell him, tell him to come. Yeah. So essentially, um, I get ganked, right? Yep. Pushed up, no wards. My fault. Yep. We get killed by the... Good on you. Yeah, it's me. Good, good on you. Yeah, I get twice. Mm-hmm. Kha'Zix gets my flash, kills me. Yep. Do it again. Dies twice to him. It's all me, right? Yeah. But, but the thing is, we're beating our lane, right? Mm-hmm. Even though... They just killed us back to back. I mean, literally four kills. <laughs> yeah, we're still like they're just bad, mm-hmm. right? It's Senna. It's Senna. Me, it's me. Me and Senna. Sivir and Senna. Yeah. Versus Zillion Jin. 
mm-hmm. which feels like they should beat us. Yes. But they weren't, right? We were just it, beating in CS. I mean, it, it's a famous line by my buddy Winston, who was an ex-challenger player. Yeah. Bad players don't scale. Right. <laughs> and he, he, like, legit wouldn't forfeit games, like, with Swift. Like, Swift would be like, I'm fucking done with this game. He goes, no, bad players don't scale. He'd end up getting, like, a he, like, main TF, even though he never played TF, like, yeah. when he pushed. He'd just get, like, a teleport, get a kill for, like, you know, they were necked in top, and it just snowballed into it. So, game. even though we gave up four kills, again, my fault was just, like, pushed up. The, um, you just, like, you tell your jungler, hey, all their shit's down. And they were like, not coming. I, like, they literally said, no, I'm not coming. You're ending. Yeah. <laughs> and so I said, no, 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 it's free. Just come. And then we, we win the game. It's fine. Yeah. They We get a double kill. And then it just snowballs. And then that's it. Mm-hmm. And those people never say sorry. No. Yeah. No, I said sorry. Oh. I said, hey, thanks for the gank. We can do that again. It's free. Yeah. Uh, they never say sorry. They never say sorry. I've had it happen before. No. Even, where I played a solo game. And uh, I was telling you about this. Our Katarina... The other opposing juggler, Twitch, runs under tower at this Katarina. Katarina gets two kills. So I go, okay, this is good. We have a vein bot lane. So I'm like, oh, I can get this ahead and this can snowball. Yeah, it's going to beat the Twitch late. It's going to be. It, it's just Twitch going, is better in team fights. But but it's if I get this thing like fed, it's going to be really strong. I think it was a misfortune support too. So like I was like, both these things can scale really well. So I'm like, well, let me gank that lane. I'm getting flamed by the mid lane. Like. Mumu, this is the biggest fucking jungle difference in the world. Mind you, I had three dragons at like yeah. tw- at 20 minutes. Oh, and they're just pissed because they're not getting ganks. Yes. And that's it. And I have, I think I'm like 01 and like five. Mm-hmm. Like I've given up, five, I've gotten five kills. Five assists. For, for our Three dragons. Line, three gotcha. dragons. I am dominating. I'm right. up like 50 CS. Right. Jungle diff. Uh, and, like, and they're saying, this is the biggest massive jungle difference. And that person never said sorry. No. Even even though Vayne carry Vayne and Misfortune carried that game. Yeah, you got him ahead. Got him ahead. Yeah. And they, no, and I then, know that's then, what and, this but, community and, is. And even though Vayne at the end goes, "Thanks, Mumu, for putting the trust in me," mm-hmm. and I go, <laughs> "Thank you." Thank, yeah, you're thank welcome you for that recognition. Thanks. Um, yeah. Sometimes you get it. Yeah, I know. Um, I'll end this by saying again, a lot of those losses that we had, not all of Tyler Voss's fault. Yeah, he also, he's he just. Like you. It's a, yeah. I mean, I, you, you won the game sandwich. You were sam- the two sandwich loss. Essentially. You were the issue. Right. That's fair. He, he can win games, right? When he plays against people, his own rank. Mm-hmm. He's playing against people. That way, means, that means and I'm I, not good enough. If I play platinum people, I'd get shit on too. Exactly. So. Okay. Um, we're out. Let's play this game. See you.